So, I guess I don't really have a whole lot to talk about other than games, um, but I, I want to digress because I there there's more to me than, than games. Um, so yeah, I want to talk about movies today. So, I, I'm not a huge fan of all of the, the, the schlock that uh, Hollywood has been uh, cramming down our throats lately. Gritty reboots and uh, just endless remakes and, and so terrified of going into new territory. Uh, they, they dumb everything down into the, the lowest possible denominator, the, the, the most common denominator, and try to hit every single market uh, that they possibly can while still alienating, you know, quite a few markets. For one thing, you look at the demographics of who's actually in the movies, um, you have very, very, very few female protagonists, uh, or really even female actors, main actors, uh, you know, who actually have a role to play. Uh, mostly they're, they're set pieces, which is sad since women make up 50% of the population, but that's an entirely different argument. But anyway, uh, Hollywood doesn't take chances. They, these movies are so bloated, their salaries and uh, the production costs and, and, and everything are so inflated that in order to have any chance of recouping any of that investment, they just, they don't take any chances at all. And so then, all of the films that really push any kind of envelope or, or try any experimentation or try to reach any kind of new audience are just by their very nature going to be on the fringe of things. They're going to be indie, they're going to have much smaller budgets, um, you know, no real big name actors, uh, or, or very few big name actors, uh, you know, it's kind of just the nature of the beast. But it's by far a more interesting beast to watch, I think. Uh, all, pretty much all of my favorite movies, well, a lot of my favorite movies recently have been very kind of small uh, time movies that, that really take the time to be edgy and experimental uh, and, and, and not the big huge blockbusters that, uh, you know, are supposed to attract these huge audiences uh, but don't uh, at least capture me anyway. But I guess there is some maybe hope for the future because superhero movies are now all the rage and they have been for about the last 10 years. Uh, yeah, almost 10 years since uh, Batman Begins kind of really started it by being a surprising blockbuster. But superhero movies were really relegated to the uh, the sidelines. I mean, no one really uh, expected them to be huge money makers. You know, they were always seen as like a, you know, uh, a very niche geek uh, kind of franchise, and now they're just blowing up everywhere. So maybe, uh, you know, there's some market for uh, fringe things to kind of hit a more mainstream audience. Maybe some directors will, uh, you know, reach into their bag of tricks and, and pull out something uh, a little bit more edgy. I mean, certainly this year's uh, or last year's movies were a little bit better. Uh, Her was fantastic, um, and and achieved a lot of blockbuster, you know, success and acclaim. So so that's a good thing. So I guess that is my rant about movies for today. Uh, I don't know why I felt like talking about that, but uh, I guess I just want to watch some some good movies, and and there just haven't been a lot of them. So uh, anyway, I will have something a little bit more substantial to talk about Friday, and uh, Corey, I will uh, hear from you tomorrow.